Today we're going to be playing with the March 2020 Art Snacks box. I actually don't think anything inside of this box was spoiled to me beforehand. I've mentioned before Art Snacks does tend to do a lot of teasers and stuff for the products that are within their boxes, but I don't think I saw anything on this box, so it was a complete surprise to me. I do know that they're going to be doing a bonus box that's just a Tombow Art Snacks bonus box for this month that should be shipping out soon, but obviously I'll be doing a separate video on that, so this one is just focused on the March 2020 box. So in this box, like I said, I didn't really know what was in it, but the very first thing that I ended up picking out is definitely the largest thing. It is a set of four Brunzeal Brun, Brun expression colored pencils. I don't know how to say that, but it came with four colored pencils and they were in very like fun tones. They're like earthy, but leaning towards blue. And I was, uh, I didn't know what I was gonna do with these at first, not gonna lie, but they smelled really good. They, they smell good. Uh, we also got a graphic brush liner, which is just a black brush liner. I've never heard of this brand before, never seen it before, but it's a black ink brush liner. I was really hoping it was white ink when I first saw it, but alas, it is black ink. We also got this Rembrandt watercolor. I got mine in the color Benzimidizalone Orange. I, uh, this is the box of me not knowing how to say things. And then finally, we got a Royal Langnickel Menta Series 88 brush. Mine came in this fun size and it didn't come with a cap or anything on it. So it was just had a bunch of like glue fuzzies and then I played with it, my hand made it worse. It came off with water though. And then of course we got the Art Snack sticker. So this is everything that came in this box. A very interesting variety of colors. So especially at the beginning, I had absolutely no idea what I was gonna do with these colors because I got a bunch of blues and greens as far as the color pencils go. And then I got a very orange orange for my watercolor. So I, uh, I didn't have any thoughts right off the bat, but of course the very first thing I went ahead and I did was swatch all the supplies. You can't really see me swatching any of the color pencils because my thumb brace is in the way, so. That's a thing, uh, really good at these angles, but this is what came in this box. Um, overall, Art Snacks estimates a retail value at about $28 for these supplies. Generally, I've mentioned, I think they're going off of like base retail versus websites like Dick Blick and even at Michael's you can use coupons. So it's like the highest price for it, but definitely not the worst we've seen for a box because sometimes they tend to be below the cost of the box, which isn't very nice, but that's what this one retailed to. And when I was doing swatching, as I've been doing lately, I did test and see if any of the other supplies were water soluble. So the colored pencils lifted a little bit, but not enough to be considered watercolor pencils, which they were not watercolor pencils, so that's, I guess, a good thing. <laughs> and then as far as the graphite brush liner went, that one did lift a little bit as well, but again, it wasn't a huge big deal. It was just a tiny bit of ink that came off of it, but we got to play with supplies that couldn't be diluted with water this month, which is a change from the past few boxes because definitely with the past couple boxes, I've been able to take the supplies and use them in a very unorthodox way versus this one. We had to use them kind of how they were intended. So like I mentioned, I really didn't know what I was going to do with these colors at first. I had a couple of ideas and they were not good ones, but what I ended up coming up with is this kind of girl underwater and she's surrounded by koi fish because that's a way that I can incorporate the orange and the blue, fish and water. So I was proud of myself for that idea. I actually think this ended up turning out pretty cute. I've been drawing a lot of fan art lately and I feel like especially on my channel it's like Art Snacks is the one time a month where we don't draw fan art on this channel, but I had a lot of fun doing this one. My initial ideas when I was like trying to figure out what I wanted to draw for this box was I was thinking of doing like a kind of like a tree spirit lady because I was really focusing on the greens that came in the colored pencil set, but I wasn't really sure where I was going to incorporate the blues and not even to mention the orange. I had no idea what I was going to do. And then I was like, well, blues, water, what can I do with orange? What is orange underwater? And then I came to fish and I was so excited with that idea because koi fish are so pretty, but I didn't know how to draw fish. So I did a little like little bit of thumbnailing off to the left and I sketched out some fish and then later transferred those over obviously into the final sketch. I did go ahead and use my own pencil for the sketch because I didn't know how well these um, Runeziel colored pencils would erase so I did go ahead the supplies on my own that I used aside from the paper obviously was my own pencil to sketch. I also used some masking fluid for the little orbs and then at the very end I used a Uniball white Signo gel pen. So aside from everything that came in the box, those are my own supplies that I ended up using. And the reason I did the orbs around the character is because I had sketched out three koi fish and then from there I really liked the composition of them and how they like float around her body in a certain curve. But 
it was fairly empty on the page aside from that, so I was kind of debating between leaving it empty or adding more fish, but in the end I was like, I don't want to add more fish, it's going to take away from the composition, so I just took masking fluid and I added these orbs of what are supposed to be kind of glowing light. I don't know what they are, but I thought it would be a nice way to kind of add more going on as well as add more orange to the painting, so that's what I ended up doing. And right off the bat, I knew what I wanted to do with the black pen was not do line work, but instead I actually wanted to take that to add black to the entire background that wasn't going to be her hair or the fish or whatever else I was going to do. And I'm really glad I ended up doing that because I felt like it added a really good amount of contrast to the piece, especially since I was coloring her with colored pencils and I didn't want her hair or her skin tone to be fairly dark because I, I don't use colored pencils often. I actually really enjoyed working with these colored pencils. They were very fun to play with. I don't think they're the most vibrant colored pencils that exist out there, even though in like the Art Snacks description of the products, they say that barely any pressure is needed to achieve bright colors, which is like kind of true. And I know by no means is this like good paper to use colored pencils. It's watercolor paper, so it's very, very textured, but like I feel like the colored pencils they were nice colored pencils, but they weren't, in my mind, anything special. But in saying that, please keep in mind that I know nothing about colored pencils. I have a set of Prismacolor colored pencils, but those are really the only nice colored pencils that I've ever used. But I feel like I didn't really want to go too dark with the colored pencils because I didn't want it to look muddy or gross. So having the black background really helped the character pop. The only thing that I think I really struggled with with this piece was the contrast in the character herself because I didn't really plan if I wanted her or her hair to be darker. I kind of wanted both her skin and her hair to be fairly light, but then she kind of looked like a very washed out ghost. So it was it was very hard for me to differentiate where her hair was and where her body was when I was looking at the piece just because they were really, really similar in tone and there wasn't a lot of contrast going on. So. As I was working on this piece and as I was building up the colored pencil, I think I just kept adding more colored pencil in like very similar amounts to her skin tone as well as her hair, and that really didn't help build up any kind of contrast for the character. So eventually it just got to the point where I had to look at the piece and go, okay, I have to darken either her hair or her skin. I can't keep doing both and I can't keep really doing neither. Otherwise, nothing good is gonna come from it. So towards the end of the piece, I did go ahead and I added some more layers of colored pencil over her skin and it definitely, it wasn't super like pigmented. It wasn't super harsh color, but it definitely helped differentiate where her body was versus where her hair was, especially since it's, like her hair is very flowy and it's all over her body. So it really just needed that extra extra something going on to differentiate it, so I'm glad I ended up doing that. I wanted to try and not rely too heavily on line work for this piece, even though I feel like I did, but I definitely didn't want to bring in the, the black liner for any of the line work because I wanted it to look really soft and I just felt like the black would be too much going on. So as you can see, this is the point where I decided I had to make that choice and darken her skin, which I wasn't opposed to by any means. I was just really scared. I think more than anything, I was just scared of the colored pencils being too much or maybe like transferring over to the other page. I don't know. I was I was very iffy about this piece, but as a whole, I really do like how this turned out. I never draw fish, so I am proud of myself for drawing fish. The only one I don't like is the one that's like facing upwards and you see the underside. It looks really derpy, but I feel like it doesn't match the same look as the other fish, but that's okay. I am really happy with how this turned out. These supplies were actually a lot of fun to play with. Like I said, I, I really didn't know what I was doing when I first got them. I had no idea what I was going to draw, but I really like this. It kind of looks like she's like an underwater ghost playing with fish. She looks like a ghost to me because her hair is white and she's still very, very light in color, but I do like how the character turned out. I think it's really cute. And then towards the end, I also decided to just kind of splash some of the orange watercolor onto the page that I ended up doing some thumbnails on just because like the spread as a whole didn't have a whole lot of color and I just needed something else going on there. So that's what I decided to do with this piece. Like I said, I do really like it. These supplies were a lot of fun to play with. I've also heard that there was quite a variety of color combinations to go with this Art Snacks box. So if you get Art Snacks, let me know in the comments below what colors you got for this box. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.